A young Indian girl tries her hand and her eyes at an ancient dance tradition that would die but for the likes of her. One day, she hopes, she looks something like this. For 2,000 years, this dance, called Bharatanatyam, tells stories to the peoples of India of gods and demons, of love and hope. Where the spoken word failed, the body language of this classical dance would ring a bell. But in time, the dancers became prisoners of the priests. Their dancing was confined to temples and to religious themes, and the people lost touch with their past. But for a rebellious young woman, this exotic tradition would have died. She risked her reputation to bring it back to the people. The young woman planted this banyan tree, marking the place where she took the best of the past to make sure it had a vigorous future. Today, the place in South India where the tree thrives is considered holy. They call it Kalakshetra. Here they worship dancing. The woman who planted the tree 50 years ago not only discovered the dance was confined to the temples, she also learned that it was performed by women who were dancers by day and prostitutes by night. Rukmini Devi, then 20, was a Brahmin, an aristocrat, and when eventually she performed the dance herself in public, the Indian establishment was horrified. In time, the storm subsided and eventually the dance was accepted. Finally, India decided it was safe to send their children to her. These young dancers and musicians are devoted to one of the oldest dance traditions in the world. Under her banyan tree, Rukmini Devi leads them in prayer every day. She's now in her 81st year. She was recently asked to become President of India the highest office in the land, but she declined. She'd be more useful, she argued, if she continued as a guardian of her country's artistic traditions. As a Brahmin girl, Rukmini Devi knew she must not marry outside her caste. She did more than that. She married a foreigner, an Irishman called Dr. Arundel, many years her senior. It was unheard of. Absolutely unheard of. We were people, the public was abusing us like anything, and we were lost all pop. He was very popular. I was not known, of course, but he was very popular. He was the head of a big college, educationist, and so popular that young people just surrounded him. He identified himself with India. Fraternization between Indians and foreigners was disapproved but many prominent Europeans joined India's fight for self-expression. Rukmini wanted to contribute in her own way. Dr. Shankara Menon was a close supporter from the start. She had always been interested in, uh, in music, dance, and in all the creative arts. But at one period of her life, she came into very close touch with Anna Pavlova, who was very fond of her for some reason. She thought that uh, she would be a very outstanding dancer. So she said, why don't you learn dance? So Rukmini Devi said, but uh, it is past the time when one should start learning dancing. And uh, Pavlova said, no, you have a very supple body and I'll teach you myself. And she gave her the first few lessons in in the ballet, her first essay in dancing was not Indian dancing, but the Russian ballet, and her first teacher was the best dancer of the time, Anna Pavlova. 
Pavlova advised Rukmini to explore her own dance culture, but there was a problem. I was um, living in a part of India which is famous for both music and dance and dance dramas and temples and so on. So I was in that particular atmosphere. And so, uh, in spite of it, I was not allowed to see the dance at all. Why was that? Because at that time there was a big stigma attached to them because the dancers were professional from a particular caste called Devadasi. And they were considered to be many of them prostitutes. Temple prostitutes were far from young Rukmini's experience of life and it wasn't until four years after her marriage that she saw the notorious dance herself. In 1934, my brother, her brother and I took her to see Indian dancing. And two girls who were first class dancers were dancing. You won't see that kind of dancing anymore except here in Kalakshetra. And uh, I was really fascinated by this Bharatanatyam. And uh, they asked me, do you think you can do this dance? I said, I have a feeling I can, and I want to learn. Then we searched for the teachers. We went to every dancer's home to see the different teachers, because I didn't know what was right, what was wrong, what was good or bad. So I studied to see which teacher attracted me most. But the teacher had to be convinced Rukmini wasn't just a dilettante. For the next 10 years, she underwent the strictest training. And when she felt she was ready, at the age of 31, she invited a hundred friends to watch her perform. Curiosity attracted 2,000. Almost all were offended by what they saw. Brahmins were shocked, non-Brahmins were shocked, theosophists were shocked, everybody was shocked. I didn't think it was vulgar. I only thought it needed reformation. The costumes had to be reformed, the music had to be reformed, the presentation had to be reformed, and uh, everything had to be. So I decided I would do that. A few saw her dancing as a breakthrough for the Indian arts. One of Rukmini's principal assistants today was there as a child, Sharada Hoffman. I was um, six, I think, yeah. And I was in the front row watching, and it was so beautiful. You know, she, nothing like, I have not seen anything like it in my life. And I fell in love with it, and with her too. And so uh, I, I wanted to learn to dance. That was my reaction to it. Rukmini founded the Kalakshetra Dance School in 1936 and Sharada Hoffman became one of the first students. Ever since, the classical dance drama Bharata Natyam has had a protectress in Rukmini Devi. Bharata Natya, what we call Bharata Natya, would have died out. There would be no Bharata Natya. There would be something else which would call itself Bharata Natyam, but she retained the purity, the classicism, and along with that, the knowledge of the art. Sadly, few of these beginners will become full-time professional dancers. Opportunities for classical works are limited, but it won't be for want of trying. Just walk your feet today. That's not right, you know. Show me how it should be. Jalan kuta kadi kuta kata dinga na tom. Kaya 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 kaya. Ma, Subhashri, please be seated. Second time. Yes. Kaya kaya kaya. One of those who's just qualified for full-time study, it's a six-year course, is 16-year-old Amala Mukherjee, who's half Irish. Her father is Bengali, her mother comes from County Kildare. No, 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 no. Do it again. You are adjusting too much. My father's in the Navy. Indian Navy? Yes, the Indian Navy. And he was in Greenwich 20 years 